Previously, we saw that we often want to describe the multiplier in an exponential relation in terms of percent change. One of the major reasons that we want to rewrite an equation so that we can see what the multiplier is, is so that we can describe our exponential relationship in terms of percent change. For example, suppose a certain radioactive material has a half-life of 19.33 years. We'd like to figure out what percent of the sample is lost each year. In order to do this, first we need to find the multiplier. So our equation, our variables are m, the amount of the material, and t, the time in years. m is dependent, t is independent. So the amount of the material will be some starting amount, we don't know, but we're going to multiply by a half. How many times will we multiply by a half? Well, once every 19.33 years. To find the multiplier then, well, a half to the t over 19.33 is a half to the 1 over 19.33 to the t. Using the calculator now, we have a half to the 1 over 19.33. So that's about, um, I'm going to carry like five decimal places, 0 0.96478 to the T. So the multiplier is 0 0.96478. Okay, now what? Well, now we need to find the percent change. How? Well, remember, when we wanted to find the multiplier given the percent change, we added 1 to the percent change. We said the multiplier equals 1 plus the percent change. Well, subtract 1 from both sides of that. The multiplier minus 1 will give me the percent change. To find the percent change, we just subtract 1 from the multiplier. So we'll have our percent change is... 0.96478 minus 1. I'm just going to use the number I have in my calculator. Negative 0 0.03522. Make that a percent and maybe round the percent. Eh, this is good negative 3.522 percent. Why is it negative? It's negative because it represents a percent decrease. Remember, percent increase is positive, percent decrease is negative. The answer to our question, the amount decreases by about 3.522 percent each year. In order to figure that out again, First, we find the multiplier by rewriting the equation. And then we find the percent change by subtracting 1. 